Hi, and welcome back to Let's Play an Untitled Story. Last time we did a... we went through my exploration, we did a little bit of item gathering, and in the process of doing so, I managed to miss an item. So we're gonna do a little bit of... not quite backtracking, but... I don't feel like I break the pop of the vases because I can't do that and break that one. Yeah, wrong button. Actually, I gotta say, I actually really like the music in this game. It's simple, but uh, it actually kinda gives it a good feel. Alright, there's that health pickup I missed. And actually, I think I can climb straight back up here. It looks like I can. Don't need to backtrack up and around again. Oh my God, but now we get to get through this map. It's like the first real challenge in this game. Not good. Oh, and sitting there is not good either. Just dashed across and got through without taking any damage. I can't just jump straight up, but... Ah. Up. I'm gonna get to deal with these. I'm trying to see a safe so I'm trying to land between the second and third cannon. Ah, so close. And I can't destroy him. Oof. Yeah. Over here is like a giant star floating up up there. I don't know what that is. Hmm. A red warning sign. Nothing could happen if we jump down here. Nothing's gonna happen. Oh whoa! Oh, big drop. Let's see what we got here. Some cannons, a thwomp, some little blue floating things too. Hmm. Ow. Hopefully this has some health. This may not go too well. Let's see, we jump off of these? Yes, we can. And I get the double jump height upgraded. Nice. If I can get out of here without dying. Oh, so close, but so far. Oh, and there's the, the game over screen. We just fell from the world. And I actually cut off the end of it. I know what happens, and I cut it off. I'm an evil, horrible person. I'll just show it next time I die. When uh, it will happen again. On the bright side, I guess we... I was gonna say, we don't have to get under that thwomp again, but uh, we have to get through four thwomps and a bunch of cannons now. <laughs> so I don't think the trade-off was quite worth it. So far, so good. Oh wow, this is going really well. Oh my gosh. Wow, I made it through without taking any hits. There's another one across. Let's see if I can make it over there. Looks like I might, and I did. Huh. Um, I know from experience playing that I have no idea what those little blue wispy things do, so... We can jump off the blue f flying things, but... I guess that leaves us only one place to go. And see what's down below. Hopefully oh, okay, good, we didn't die. It's an upgrade. We need a teleport between save points. Alright, that's handy. Got some extra pieces, and... I guess we're gonna save point here. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much going on here. So let's see what this teleport does. Alright, so we got two we can teleport between. And we can't do anything over there, so obviously we have to come this way. So maybe we can get up over that other little ledge there. There was another path over in the that first boss's area, but definitely can't jump that high yet. 
wonder if we can get up there. The side of that cliff looks like it might be climbable. I'm just gonna kill that sn ladybug snare. Yeah, doesn't look like we can get up there yet either. Hmm. Maybe we can jump up that, uh, those little wispy things. That seemed to be the only place left we could actually head over to, so... Unless there's something here... In this f next... Uh, Wait a second, what was that when we came in? Uh-huh! One of those are actually invisible platforms, or if they just disappear altogether. Let's see if we land them. Ah, look at that! I actually... Oh, and I fell. Not what I wanted to do. I'm gonna go ahead and backtrack to the top here, so you don't have to keep watching me do that. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Let's see, get through a couple times, make sure I can keep track of where these platforms are. There's one here, and one here, there we go, and made it. A new heist mode stage. Heist mode is a new bonus area, uh, not a bonus area, a uh, second mode to the game. I might cover a little more of that after I check it out and see what it is for myself. I noticed it was there, and uh, that's about the extent of my knowledge on it. Got some blocks, and a little pink guy chilling up on the tower. I think that's a guy. Could just be a little pink handkerchief, I don't know. And here's another one. If you walk into him, it's like he could be an enemy. I think these actually might be people of sorts. The one up there is walking around. Hmm. Ah, I guess that's a, I don't know, I was gonna say that looks like a door, but perhaps not. Action doesn't do anything. Shoot, shooting them doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. These guys don't seem to be very talkative. Let's check out what's over here. Okay. okay, good to know, dude. Don't know what the heck you just said, but I guess this is the shop. We can afford a heart. I'm assuming these are health upgrades and not just um, temporary health because there's multiple ones. So that we can actually afford this health upgrade. And this upgrade. So let's get out of the shop and See what the heck they do. Alright, let's show up here on the map. We've got one, the first health upgrade, and let's see what the upgrade upgrade is. Can now get red and Aha. Uh -huh. So the little red energy clusters will give us a boost. Alright, we gotta jump from that top platform. We gotta actually jump off of it apparently. Let's see. Okay, that does reset it. That's a good thing. Almost just missed out on that heart power up. Ah, almost. Let's try this again. This is all new to me. I'm not, uh. Hmm. It gave me a hint when I grabbed it. I don't remember what the hint was. <laughs> Ah, oh, there we go. Holding up gives you a little height, and we get an extra 10 health. Alright, let's see. We should be able to get this other health up. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Well, I don't think we can boost off those yellow ones, so... We can't get that health upgrade yet. 
Looks like there's a little thing here. Might just be a little uh, graphic. Um, just the way the graphic is, that may not actually be anything, but it looked like there was a little sort of secret switch or something. Save the game quick there, and we'll head down this hole and see what we have. Oh, there's a city of these guys down here. This green one's asleep. This guy looks like someone important. He's got a d his own desk. Doesn't seem like these guys do anything, though. Hmm. Well, that guy down there looks like he's chilling all alone. He must be important. Let's go see what he has to say. Let's go the correct way to see what he has to say. Hmm, money counter came up. That's strange. Should I do anything? No. The only other place we could possibly go is off the edge the, by that health upgrade we couldn't get to yet. So let's go see if that'll lead anywhere. We'll just take a huge leap of faith off the side, see where it ends up. Here we go! Oh, empty map. Uh-oh, Farfall. This could be bad. Oh, there's a wall there. Bouncing off of it. Uh-oh. Hope I wasn't supposed to land on those and bounce somewhere. Another new heist mode stage. And a save point. Also known as a teleport point. Teleport point. kill these guys, but I sure can walk behind them. This won't be the most exciting thing to watch, but I don't know. Let's hope I don't, they don't hurt. Oh, I can turn them around by getting hit, but 40 damage. Ouch. Uh oh, I just did it again. Ah, uh, if walking into them doesn't turn them around. Yeesh, I'm on the wrong side. I think I'm dead. I am dead. Yep, here's the game over screen. Not gonna hit continue yet. And there goes our poor little egg floating on up to heaven. At least we know we're a good egg. We had a halo. And we're floating up, not going down with flames of hell popping up. Well, that'll be it for this episode of Let's Play an Untitled Story. Next time we'll check out those two paths, both of which I was having issues get up, and hopefully I'll actually manage to get through them this time. Have a nice day.